G'day and welcome to In The Sheds. What a weekend of rugby league we have coming up. Of course, rep footy in Cooma on Saturday, followed by round six of the Group 9 on Sunday. To talk about it all this week is our special guest from the Albury Thunder, Josh Kale. Josh, welcome to In The Sheds, mate. Yep. Obviously, uh, a hard fought win over Chimit, 42-14. You didn't have it all your own way, did you? Yeah, no, nah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, look, it was a um, tough game. They come down to play and you know, they got some good players back at the club with uh, Josh Chewy and a few of the other boys that have come back. So, yeah, I think they'll get it better. They've got a few young kids that have learned their way, so I'm sure they'll improve through the year. There's been a lot of talk about uh, Ben Jeffrey. Everyone looks at him. He's a star player down there at Albury. But one guy that's really stood out, he has, you know, last season as well. But this year, really, really well. Two tries on the weekend. He did get injured. But Willie Hedder, how good is he going for the club? Yeah, look, Willie's been great. Um, you know, he had a really good year with us last year, obviously, and he's really continued on this year. Um, you know, Benny Jeffrey's been carrying injury uh, through the first few, first few rounds, and Willie's really stepped up and, and led us around. I think him and Josh Murray are working really well together, and uh, hopefully they can keep improving. Grand final replay this weekend against South City. Uh, they're travelling pretty well, aren't they, the Bulls? Yeah, look, um, fitzy has got those boys going really well. Uh, I think they're the benchmark of the competition, so... You know, they're obviously undefeated and, um, you know, it's going to be a great game. Uh, probably a little bit of a shame that the rep game's on the day before because it features so many players out of um, both sides. But um, I'm sure, you know, they've done it all before, so it'll be, be a good game on the Sunday. We'll touch on the rep game shortly, but do you think it will have much effect? Obviously, Albury and South City carrying the most of the players in that, in that rep game? Um, yeah, I'm sure it'll have some sort of effect. Uh, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. A couple of weeks ago, you know, Mitch Davis played the day before and he was our best player the next day at Cooter. So, yeah, look, everyone's different. And, um, you know, if you get a little niggle, it makes it a bit harder, but I'm, I'm sure the boys will come through fine. Obviously, South City, uh, they've got great players all over the park, but one guy that's going well for him, veteran halfback, Glennon Morris, he's uh, been a standout. Yeah, look, he's, um, yeah, he's a really good little player and he's going to be one we're going to have to watch and he's a little nippy fellow. So I'm sure he'll be um, trying to run past me plenty, which so I'll have to be on my toes with it, as much as the other boys. So. What's the focus for your side uh, heading into this game and where do you think it can be won against the Bulls? Uh, look, I think we need to improve on, on our um, discipline, uh, just making far too many errors at crucial times uh, this year, which you know, that probably comes with a few combinations that are, the new combinations that have come into the side. And, yeah, look, uh, I don't think we've played a, a good solid two halves put together yet. So, you know, if we're going to beat South City, we're going to need to put both halves together this this weekend. Now, as you said before, on Saturday, it is round one of the country championships, Group 9 versus Group 16 in the very cold Coomer, I think yeah. it's going to be on Saturday. What do you think is going to happen in that game? How do you think the Group 9 will go? Uh, I think we'll have a pretty heavy win there. Um, you know, there's no secret. Um, up the South Coast, probably a little bit weak. Uh, no, no disrespect to them, but... You know, the Group 9 boys had a really good win the other week. I spoke to a couple of boys and they're firing, so they've got some great players in there. I think they've done really well with picking the side this year and um, I'm sure they'll go a long way in the comp. Now, other round six uh, games in the Group 9 this weekend. Young versus Tumut. Uh, you played Tumut. Yep. You said they're playing well. Young, of course, will take a lot of confidence out of a, a come-from-behind draw against brothers as well. Yeah, look, 30-all uh, draw with brothers, so, you know, they're obviously getting on the improve. But I, I think Tumut, um, like I said before, they'll definitely improve through the year and they've got some good players. So I think uh, once their confidence comes in, um, they'll get a few wins up this year. Kangaroos and Cootamundra have both been pretty impressive to start the season as well and they'll clash at McDonald's Park. How do you find that one? Yeah, look, that'll be an interesting game. Um, you know, obviously, Cooter rolled us a few weeks ago and they've got some really good players in there, so... That'll be a tight one. I probably um, think maybe Cooter might just edge them. Uh, the winless Tumbarumba, they've been pretty unlucky to start the season. They're up against Gundagai. They'll be filthy. They blew that game against South City on the weekend. Yeah, look, I'm sure Smarty um, has been working really hard with the boys and, and they're probably a side just lacking a little bit of confidence at the moment as well. But, you know, I'm sure they'll bounce back this weekend. And the other game is Juni up against Brothers. They're fresh off the bye and Brothers, of course, they'd probably be filthy as well with that 30 all draw. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, 30 all draw, um, being up with a lead at that, they'd be pretty dirty on. So they'll come out firing and, you know, it's not easy coming off a bye. So, um, you know, but... Junior travelling along okay this year, so that, that'll be another tight game, and I would probably have to go Junior at the moment. Well, it's going to be an interesting round six. Before we let you go, though, mate, you've got to do our set of six. Yeah. Uh, we've got six tackles for you. You can answer however you like. 
uh, you know, bag anyone out of the club. <laughs> it's up to you. You're the coach. So yeah. <laughs> you boss them around. The first question, though, is going to be your pre-game superstition. Um, I always put my left uh, sock and boot on before my right sock and boot. I don't know why. I just do it. <laughs> How long have you been doing that for? Uh, since <laughs> I was about nine, I reckon. I don't know. Uh, Mark Guy did it. Uh, and he was my favourite player as a kid, and I remember watching an interview with him one day, and that was it, and it stuck. It must be, must be working, mate, yeah. defending premiers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Hardest ground to play out in the Group 9? Uh, look, they're all pretty hard, um, especially travelling away, but, oh, look, um, I'd say the hardest game I've had to play a few years ago, Tumber in the cold, it was, it was very hard to come out of them sheds. And uh, I can tell you, no one shook hands after the game. They all sprinted and just got in the shower. Uh, what's the, who's the quickest at the Albury Club at the moment? Um, Benny Jeffrey rates himself as the quickest. And look, he, he is lightning and fast. But uh, Chris Seaton, he's won a couple of um, races around town in the gift and that over 400. So touch and go, but I, I'd probably go for Benny. I understand Chris Seaton is pretty quick on a motorbike too, isn't he? Yeah, he's quick all around, um, Seaton. So... <laughs> so no, he, he's very good on the motorbikes and we're lucky to actually have him playing because um, he's been chased by every, all over the world to go riding bikes. So hopefully we can hang on to him for the whole season. What's your most embarrassing footy moment? Uh, there's plenty. Um, probably the worst one was a video session and uh, I spat out of a tackle and um, one of my um, butt cheeks caught and sort of dragged him apart and yeah, I got fairly well paid out and uh, got picked up pretty easily by the rest of the boys. It was pretty embarrassing. It'd be a funny thing if we actually had that video, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, hopefully it's burn or in the archives uh, with the rest of them. Uh, who's the biggest pretty boy at the Aubrey Thunder? You got anyone who likes to do their hair before the game? Oh, there's, there's a fair few of them. Um, I'd be here all night if I was telling you a lot, but uh, I'd probably go with Mark Walsh. And he rates himself fairly highly and he's uh, got a comb over. I don't know what's doing there. He looks a bit like Clark Kent um, in the old days, but... Yeah, there's a few of them, but Walsh would probably be up there with the best of them. And if Josh Cale was down to his last $10, what would you spend it on? Uh, I'd spend it on probably my wife and two girls. Uh, you know, I don't know what I'd get them for 10 bucks, but I'd get them something. Very, very thoughtful, mate. Cheers, mate. Hey, and uh, good luck on the weekend. It's going to be an awesome game against South City, a grand final replay. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks. That has been In the Sheds for another week. We'll take a week off with the public holiday next week. We can catch up all the goss for the round seven of the Group 9 Rugby League in a fortnight's time.